way of winter phase two is here you're probably wondering where you should be building your base as phase two happens you can already forget about oil and polluted zones because you will no longer need that the thermal tower is going to do all of this for you there's a perk in the thermal tower stardust control which it basically consumes chaosium while emitting a small amount of stardust turning the area in its range in a pollution zone and there's a perk called oil exploration a large oil deposit was found beneath the thermal tower the area within its radiation range is now considered an oil field so once you unlock this your area will have oil when you try to like build pumps in the range of the thermal tower you will get basically oil now of course if you build your base naturally on an oil field then you don't really have to unlock the oil perk from the thermal tower you could basically skip this perk now of course to build a thermal tower you need to learn the memetic first which is here then you just go build menu click b facilities click outdoor facility and you build this thermal tower now it takes the space the same amount of space as a player base 18 by 18 slots and once built you cannot move it the only way to move it is destroy it and rebuild a new one which means you'll have to rebuild the perks all over again but now what do you want to look for and where you want to build your base is you want to look for flat areas so most likely this space is already taken on the top left corner of the map you just want to find somewhere where you have enough space now the thermal tower you could be building the solo or you could be building this together with people it doesn't really matter but if you do build the solo then it will take you a little bit longer time to get these perks unlocked because one perk almost every single perk requires almost 2000 chaosium so you're gonna need to do some chaosium farming these perks on the bottom right only take five minutes by the way to unlock so you should be only unlocking the perks that you really need for example heat spread the thermal tower significantly increases thermal radiation intensity in the area boosting fuel generator output by 10 watts just unlock the ones just read through the perks and see which ones you really like or need there are some perks though however that might be confusing such as tungsten deposit a large tungsten deposit was found beneath the thermal tower the tungsten resources within its radiation range will be level one or higher i guess um if tungsten doesn't spawn in your area like wherever you built a base for example here and if you built a thermal tower and activated the perk i am assuming that the thermal tower is gonna make tungsten spawn around its range as long as it's in the range as well as when you try to put mining platforms most likely you'll be able to get tungsten how does the thermal tower work first of all now we have all the perks in the first category here which you'll have to unlock to unlock another category in the manage tab you can give permissions to other people so if you click access settings if you are the owner who built the tower you'll be able to give permissions to other people now there's storage permissions administrative permissions so all you need to do is click on a player name and just click storage permissions you just tick these now to add a player all they need to do is request permissions so people have to go close to the thermal tower here and just click request permissions operation log you can see what's happening and what people are doing and what they're upgrading now in the third category in the depot here you can put materials for upgrading the thermal tower so chaosium is going to be put in here for it to operate it will need chaosium as a fuel and here you can see it says chaosium cost per minute 20 and the reason why it costs 20 is because if you take a look at here i just changed the thermal range of the territories affected so here you'll be able to select the range you want to be affected if you lower the range it will cost less and the chaosium multiplier will cost way less but you can see it says cost multiplier is one here so it costs 10 here and if you put on thermal range it will cost twice the chaosium so more territories will be covered in the range of thermal tower and more territories will get the perks but it will cost you more chaosium so you can change this every one minute if you accidentally changed it you need to wait one minute to change it back it does say thermal range is 324 it says eight territories may be covered here if we put this back 24 territories may be covered so basically you can see the thermal tower is placed here and it its range will end exactly on that base you'll be able to fit 24 bases so basically two rows of bases after the thermal tower so one two and that's basically it any base further away from these two bases here will not be able to get the buffs from the thermal tower now for the thermal tower you do not actually need chaosium to make the perks work over here once you unlock these perks they're always active the only thing that uses chaosium is the thermal range here 
Now, if you turn off the thermal tower here, right now it's active on 30 plus Celsius, and that's what makes it cost chaosium. This one makes it cost less, but you will get less temperature. And this one gives you only 10 Celsius and it costs only three chaosium per minute. Now it does say three, but we are on a multiplier of two. So three multiplied by two will be six chaosium. And if I turn it here, let's just click F on it. You can see it costs only six chaosium per minute and chaosium duration is going to be one day. It all depends on what you put inside. So if you take this out, there's no more fuel now and the thermal tower will not work and it will turn itself off. Now, if you live in a cold environment, then you can obviously put the temperatures up to plus 30. Or if you live in a hot area, you can put it to cold. But like there's no point to really do that. The best one is to just max out the temperature because there are some perks in the new scenario here that will give you a boost to generators. So that's why you want to really keep it to 30 Celsius here and just leave it be. It will cost chaosium though, but the area is only 45 Celsius here, so it's not that much. Now, when it comes to generators, you can see that this generator has 61 watts. Obviously, if you build a generator that is a deviation energy generator, but if you get this perk called deviant power generator, energy extraction, deviant power generator power output will be plus 10%. And if the environmental temperature is higher than 50 Celsius, power output will be plus 20% more. Now, I think this generator is bugged and it gives you way more than it's really supposed to. Now, you can see on the screen the deviation energy generator, the one that you build in polluted areas. It has 876 watts and I believe that that's a bug. The devs probably typed the wrong number. They put a multiplier of 20 or something or 15 and it just gives you too much wattage than it's really supposed to. But you would have to build this in the polluted zone. Now, since you need the area to be polluted to place this generator, we're kind of on purpose not unlocking the polluted area perk because if we do that, you cannot revert it and your area, I guess, will just be polluted all the time and you will get polluted water and oil in the pumps. So you're basically going to get less oil and get more polluted water because it will be swapping from oil then to polluted water, then to oil and polluted water. So just know that before you upgrade, think about it. Will you really need it? Because you cannot go back. The only way to go back is to delete the thermal tower. And just remember, you cannot move the thermal tower once it's placed. The only way is to delete it. What we're really using for generators, though, is three perk generator. It has all the perks and it has that heat dissipation. There's actually one more perk that you can get, which is called the biomass generator, heat generator. Can use hot rock ore to generate electricity and power output is 30%. Then the last one is the heat dissipation. So it's called heat generator and this one's called heat dissipation. These are two different perks and... This one is just when the nearby temperature is higher than 20 Celsius, every one additional degree increases power output by 0.2%. When the nearby temperature is higher than 60, every one additional degree increases power output by 0.5 up to 40%. Now, this is what I think is bugged because you can see right here, this generator is 61.1 watts. And if I went to the thermal tower and changed the temperature once or just turned it off in general and click manage, right now it's turned off, nothing's happening. And if I hover my mouse on this, it says 61.1 still. If I re-log in the game, the generator is still the same, 61. Now, what is chaosium waste here? So chaosium waste will go up if your thermal tower is working. So if you have temperature on high or low, whenever it's in this animation of spinning, this will always go up. So once it reaches 80%, you will need to purify the tower. And now what's up with purifying is you'll basically have to defend the base against mobs or bases that is in the range of the tower. If you have only one base in the range of the thermal tower, then the mobs will attack only that one base. However, if you have 24 territories, well, all of these bases will get attacked by random mobs. Now, Chaos Weavers will not spawn, I guess, yet on phase two. Most likely they will spawn once your tower is maxed out or just whenever a new phase unlocks. We will see and find out. When you successfully purify, you will get resonance mods or in general just probably any mods which will be suffix mods like bullseye suffix, frost vertex suffix, etc. Or you will have a chance to get resonance mods. Anyone that participates in the purifying will get the rewards. Now by the way, when it comes to building the bases, you do not need to be in the hive. You only need to build in the range of the thermal tower. Now the easiest way to get chaosium is obviously killing enemies in Frostforge. There's vultures there. There's vultures all across 
in these POIs here, Fire Throat Fortress, Fire Throat. Then there's this Sun Shroud Cave where you can go. There's also a lot of vultures there. It's also really great for gear craze. A lot of them are there. And you also find barrels to loot for Chaosium. Clearing workshops, all you need to do is just use a card and you will get Chaosium as loot once it's finished. And then the last thing is, obviously you have some perks that let you craft Chaosium from crystals. Perks like Furnace Chaosium Material Analysis, when using furnaces and electric furnaces to produce Chaosium. Production speed is minus 30, but you get yield more for every 5 Celsius in excess of 30 Celsius up to maximum of 10. So as long as the temperature you are in in the base is a 30 Celsius or above, you will get more yield and it will just stack up to 10 times. So that's why you want the thermal tower to be in max temperature, always working. There's another perk called Metal Dissolution. And you use acid and gold ore to craft Chaosium at the furnace. Now this sheet will be listed in my description. It's part of my full list of specializations, so if you want to find this, it will be in the description. But you can see that there's 9 mimetic perks in total that it will increase something, the output or the yield, based on the temperature of the environment. We have a planter box greenhouse planting, increases crop growth rate, yield plus one for every 20 Celsius increase in temperature. So this is really like why you want to build in the hot area instead of the cold area. Like the cold area just sucks, it doesn't have any bonuses. Same for the Hiasi material analysis too, and any other perks that are on the list here. To make fertilizer growth boost, all you need to do is get apples. But how do you even get apples if there's no apple trees in way of winter scenario? Well, there's only one way is to get yourself a silver pickaxe. You can craft one by learning the mimetic over here from level 40 to 50, which is the last three perks. And you will unlock a new formula, gold axe and silver pickaxe. All you need to do is click on gold pickaxe and select silver ore. If you don't know how to get silver ore, well, they're easily obtained from digbees. Just gotta collect your loot from the digbees. And to get wheat and corn, you'll need to get fetch a lot bunnies. Doesn't matter the level. The higher level though, you'll get more deviated things. But mainly you'll get wheat seeds, corn seeds from just collecting from your fetch a lot bunnies basically. And with these things, you will need to make grain, which are used for grain concentrate feed and herbal feed. I don't know about saffrons, though. I believe the bunnies maybe give it to you. Although I've never seen them give me saffron seeds. So maybe you'll have to buy them from NPCs. But mostly these feeds and these fertilizers will be required to be used for the thermal tower perks. Ladies and gents, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and found this useful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.